Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump just announced perfect new plan to stop all anthem haters. NFL in full panic. The NFL saw its lowest ratings last season. The average NFL game was viewed by 14.9 million people down from the 16.5 million the previous season. Overall, NFL ratings for the last season dropped almost 10%. That's millions of dollars in revenue gone. That's an even bigger dip from the previous seasons when the ratings dipped around 8%. Kneeling for the national anthem isn't a way to get the ratings back up. The NFL thinks it's okay for the players to take a knee during the national anthem in protest against injustice and racial bias. The question still remains, what injustice and racial bias are they talking about? NFL players make millions of dollars a year. They live in fancy mansions and drive only the best cars around. Yet, they claim to be oppressed and racially discriminated against. Sounds like a bunch of useless millennials if you ask me. What a shame. President Trump wasn't happy with the total disrespect of our nation's flag and military members. These men and women have fought and died for our freedoms, and these selfish millionaires think it's perfectly fine to show them disrespect. If you recall, President Trump attended a campaign rally in Huntsville, Alabama for Luther Strange. The president called for any players to be fired from the team if they decided to protest during the national anthem. Wouldn't you love to see one of these NFL owners, when somebody disrespects our flag, say, Get that son of a bitch off the field right now. Out. He's fired. He's fired. Trump said. Once the Philadelphia Eagles won the Super Bowl, and the NFL kneeling frenzy came to a halt, the media went silent, and all was good. Until now. Recently developments on the NFL's new policy that prohibits NFL players from kneeling during the national anthem. If they wish to protest they are allowed to stay in the locker room, and not be on the field during the anthem. President Trump praised this decision but suggested the players need to be terminated if they do not show respect for the flag and our service members. Now, President Trump received some startling news about the Miami Dolphins and took to Twitter to respond. The president suggested that a first-time, kneeler, should be suspended for that game, and a second offense would lead to a year-long ban and no pay. His tweet comes a day after the Associated Press obtained and published the preliminary disciplinary plans for the Miami Dolphins. They reportedly were considering both monetary fines as well as potential suspensions. After that was released, the team released a statement trying to minimize the blowback, while the NFL and NFL Players Association issued a statement agreeing to continue looking towards a long-term solution, in order to allow this constructive dialogue to continue, their statement said. We have come to a standstill agreement on the NFLPA's grievance and on the NFL's anthem policy. No new rules relating to the anthem will be issued or enforced for the next several weeks while these confidential discussions are ongoing. The league owners voted on a new policy in May that will force any player who remains on the sideline for the anthem to stand, however, it does give players the option to stay in the locker room. Daily Caller The Giants co-owner Steve Tisch pushed back against President Trump's comments and said, Hopefully he'll have much more going on that he's going have to deal with and should deal with and must deal with than worrying about what NFL players do. Tish went on to say, he has no understanding of why they take a knee or why they're protesting. When the new season starts, I hope his priorities are not criticizing the NFL and telling owners what to do and what not to do. The NFL recently adopted a new policy that would require players, coaches, and staff to stand during the national anthem after players. Eagles safety Malcolm Jenkins had protested during the anthem in 2017 by raising his fist. Giants linebacker Olivier Vernon and others took a knee in an act of silent dissent advocating for criminal justice reform as well as against social injustice and racial bias. W. But Tish said the Giants won't suspend players who violate the policy, which is being revisited by the NFL and NFLPA behind closed doors, according to a joint statement released this week. We support our players, Tish said. They are not going to be punished. There is not going to be any punitive action taking place against them. The owners agreed on a new national anthem policy in May. All team and league personnel, including players, who are on the field for the pregame will be required to stand and show respect for the flag and the anthem under terms of the policy. But it no longer is required that all players on the field for the anthem, meaning players who wish to protest can stay inside the locker room or off the field. The protests typically are meant to bring awareness to social injustices and or police brutality. NJ.com that was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.